Football Sunday. Yay! Well, not yay for me. I'm not really into football anymore. Used to be when the Bears were doing pretty good, but ever since then, lost interest. Anyways, if you watched me yesterday, a six-hour fucking hangout of me doing nothing but sanding and playing music. Yeah. Pretty boring. Well, you guys came in and, and had a little chat amongst yourselves and listened to some music and you know put your requests in, which was cool. Not a big deal. It actually worked out pretty good. Uh, well, I sanded into a fucking guitar. And you guys got to watch. I'm sure that would. I couldn't have been all that interesting. Come on. Now... Again, I got stuck at a thousand grit sandpaper because I know. So today I ended up going to the store and picking up. I got fifteen hundred, and I picked up some two thousand, twenty-five hundred, and three thousand sandpaper. So I will be back up and running later on today as far as sanding this thing goes. Now. The next thing I gotta do is cut out these pickup cavities and get that done. Came out pretty good. I started off with the uh, 320 grit sandpaper to kind of bring this down to the point where thickness wasn't as thick as it was. I think I achieved that, I'm not too sure. I can kind of get an idea by looking at it how thick this is. Uh, but until I get these guys cut out or drill a hole or something, then I'm not going to be for certain until that happens. But that's the next thing I gotta do with this is cut these guys out. Make sure nothing. Thing, uh, you know, glaze coating got into the cavity and filled it up or ended up, which a way you could tell if it did is if it doesn't puddle on top of your tape as it's drying and you get a nice big dip or, or you know, yeah, it's seeping in as, you, as it's drying. So hopefully that didn't happen. I got the sides pretty much sanded as far as the lip goes from the tape. There's, there's nothing. You don't feel anything. It's, it's really nice. Question about this thing that I have, though, is what do I do with this back? Now, I've already sanded it down with the uh, 800 to uh, 1,000 grit sandpaper, and I like the way it looks as far as the matte finish. Now, Cozart really didn't do that great a of a job at uh, spraying this shit. It was pretty wavy. Um, there was a lot of low spots in their finish. There was a run over here that I didn't notice before until I started sanding it. Um, yeah, so they did really a, a horseshit job as far as their finishing goes. So me doing a level sanding on the back of it and flattening all this out uh, did a <laughs> did some wonders for it. Um, I'm almost uh, uh, ready to take the Cozart name off the fucking headstock and uh, put something else on it or just leave it blank. Just so I, nobody would, I, I'm not going to advertise this as a Cozart guitar anymore because... Uh, yeah. Uh, anyways, all the work that I did in the sanding of this thing paid off. This is nice, flat now. It's nice and smooth. I stayed away from the edge. I don't block edges when it comes to sanding, okay? I will go overlap the edges with the paper, but I won't tilt the block and do anything else with it or go over the edge with the block. I don't do that. Reason being is the sanding of, uh, with uh, uh, a block, regardless of what grit sandpaper you have, can go through an edge really quick. And that's what I didn't want to do. So this edge is basically still has a little bit. I don't know if you can see it. It has a little bit of a shine on the edge. Right? Now, I will go over that by hand. I like this matte finish, and I'm thinking about keeping the back of the body a matte finish. Uh, maybe hit it with the 2,000 grit, maybe the 2,500 grit sandpaper. That way it'll give a little bit of a sheen to it, but not a gloss, gloss finish like if you were to buff it. And that's what I'm thinking about keeping the back. Now, I did a beautiful job with this. One piece of wood in the center, that perfect. And then you have your two sides, which they ended up matching perfectly. All right? That's one thing I got a hand for them. They really did a beautiful job at matching this up to where you don't really see too much of the seam. Now, this stripe that's going down over here, that is not a seam. The seam is actually over here on this side. And, yeah, it's been a nice job of it. Um, I've got the pots for it. I mean, as soon as I get... I could build this thing and get it you know, wired up or whatever now. Uh, although I am still kind of waiting for the, the pickups, which are I'm not in no hurry to get them. So Andrew Allen is nice enough to 
you know, saying he was going to make the pickups, wanted to make the pickups for this. So that's going to be cool. Now, what I want Andrew to do, because this is going to be kind of like a little bit of an advertisement for him. I do want a business card if he's got business cards, because I am going to throw it in with this guitar um, in case somebody else is interested in Andrew's work. You know, this guitar body, uh, this refinishing thing, was meant to be exactly what you've seen and exactly what it is. Uh, been seeing the Cozart guitars like crazy. I even bought a Cozart kit, which really the kit didn't come from Cozart, it came from somebody else. And I wanted to see how their guitars were. Back to the, the cheap and expensive guitars and the quality of them. This was kind of a little bit of, of proof of that. And although, you know, Cozart didn't do very good as far as uh, showing their quality with this one, some people have some good uh, things to say about it, and there's others that have bad things to say about it as well. Mine, on the other hand, the whole idea was this was to strip it and refinish it and replace everything that was in it. Basically, you want the body. The body and the hardware are the same, and the hardware if it was halfway decent, which it is. So what I ended up doing is, uh, you know, picking this thing up, and I want to do a giveaway with it. Yes, a giveaway. Another contest. Maybe a contest. I don't know. Might be just a thing uh, with involves just the subs that I have, or I might make it into a thing where it, it's another contest like I had with the Nobles Windows. I don't know. But uh, we'll see how this works out. And plus with Andrew, you know, wanting to wind the pickups for this, uh, it'll be a thing where... Andrew's name is also going to be on this a little bit for, you know, the pickups, and, and I will state that you know, he's the one that the pickups for this, and a business card, if he has one, will also be included with this in case somebody else is interested in buying a set of pickups from Andrew, or, you know, maybe a guitar from Andrew. So it'll be a little bit of advertisement uh, for him, and um, hopefully if everything works out to where my setup is good and the electronics that, that I put in here are working properly and I wire it properly, the neck is good, his pickups will stand up and they'll sound great. But that part's up to me. I'm, I've heard Andrew's pickups before and uh, uh, you know they sound great by themselves and you know, me putting the wire into it, I am going to ask Andrew possibly for a wire diagram that he would recommend for wiring this up so I don't mess it up and I don't screw it up. Uh, this way, you know, everything is the way he would wire it up and, uh, yeah. So, going to be a good thing, I hope. So far, so good. It's been working out. The neck I have sitting over there drying. Uh, the neck and the body, they somewhat match pretty damn close to each other. Um, better than what they did before, I gotta say. And I know some of you guys like the bursting on the neck. It was different. It was something you know, new. Uh, but if I had no frets on that fretboard and I would have bursted it the way that I did, it probably would have been a lot easier to do uh, without the frets on that fretboard. Uh, having them in the way is kind of a pain in the ass, and it didn't come out the way I thought it would. So, again, you know, that was my bad. Anyways, this is getting too long, and I'm getting the hell out of here. You guys enjoy your football day, and uh, have a good one. Don't drink too much.